powered by WCTV.TV. Eyewitness News at 6 starts now. Happening now, we begin with a live look from the White House. President Trump and the Coronavirus Task Force sharing their daily update right now. The president describing discussions among world leaders today and sharing his hopes for a stimulus package that's now awaiting a vote in the U.S. House. Much more to come on this tonight on the CBS Evening News. But first, we're continuing to follow some breaking news on the South Georgia. Georgia's Department of Public Health in the South Health District is confirming the first COVID-19 related death in Lowndes County. Health officials reporting the person is a 66-year-old man from Lowndes County. He had underlying medical conditions and was hospitalized at South Georgia Medical Center. And Florida's capital city, stay at home. The order from Leon County in the city of Tallahassee now in full effect. People encouraged not to go out unless it's necessary. Last night, the first night of a new 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. curfew. Thanks for joining us at 6, everybody. I'm Abby Walton. And I'm Julie Montanero. Ben has the night off. Law enforcement now stopping folks out after curfew to find out why. Our Capital City correspondent, Monica Casey, right along with Tallahassee Police last night on night one. She joins us now live. Uh, Monica, I was out last night. It was like a ghost town out there. It seems like people are taking this seriously. Yeah, Julia, ghost town is the perfect way to describe it. TPD is enforcing this curfew, and it's not just for drivers, but also for pedestrians. Essential reasons that would allow you to be out during that 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. time include maybe getting food or going to or coming home from work. But as we said last night, pretty empty, most residents taking it seriously and staying home. 